Here's how to create a year worth of Instagram Reels using ChatGPT and Canva Pro. At the end of this tutorial, you will end up with 52 animated Instagram Reels like this, so you can post one each week of the year. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. First, let's go to ChatGPT because we need to create the written content that we are going to place on our Instagram Reels. You would like to create a new chat and send ChatGPT a prompt like this one. In my case, I want to create Instagram Reels that only have a quote. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write 52 quotes about mental health and mindfulness. I'm also providing ChatGPT with a particular particular prompt so it provides the information in a way that I can simply copy and paste later on Canva so I can create the 52 Instagram Reels with just a couple of clicks. So the special prompt would be create one column for the quote, one column with a CTA to motivate people to comment and one column with three relevant hashtags. Like this, ChatGPT is not only going to generate the quote that we will have on our Instagram Reel, but it will also provide a CTA to boost the engagement on each single Reel. We want our Reels to have more comments, more likes, more engagement, so the algorithm sees that this content is valuable, people are liking it, are commenting it, and hopefully will show it to more people. I'm also asking ChatGPT to give me an extra column with relevant hashtags. We can insert these hashtags on the Reel, or we can use them later on in the caption of the reel. This is the prompt that I'm going to use but of course if you want to create a different kind of content you will adjust this prompt and change some quotes here and there and of course adapt the prompt so it fits the content that you are creating. I think my prompt is ready so I'm just gonna hit enter. So in this case it didn't provide the 52 quotes, so I had to tell the ChatGPT, hey, you gave me only 15 quotes, please continue writing until we have 52 quotes. Write them in the same format. This last part of the prompt I find it important because sometimes when you just ask ChatGPT to continue writing, sometimes it won't provide the information in the same format in a table with three columns. So that's why I gave it this little extra of information. After I sent this prompt, ChatGPT apologized and said that it was going to provide 37 quotes more, but it wasn't the case. We had only 29 quotes in total and I needed to keep asking ChatGPT to continue writing until I had the 52 quotes. This was something actually pretty easy, I just needed to count how many quotes we had and keep asking ChatGPT until we finalized the 52 quotes. Something to have into consideration is to always double check the information that ChatGPT is providing, double check that the quote is actually the quote from the author that ChatGPT is providing and that the CTA and everything else, it is something that you actually would like to post on your Instagram. And of course, you don't need to simply copy and paste. You can change and tweak the information before you are creating the Instagram Reels. Okay, so we have this information. What we are going to do is we are going to take this table, select it all, copy this information, and then we are going to open Canva. Here we are in canva.com. I really want you to pay attention to every single step that we're going to follow from now on, because if you miss one of these steps, the process might not work as expected. From here, you can either go to social media and you will find the Instagram Reel document right here, or you could go to videos as well and you will see the Instagram Reel document right here. You're going to create one new document, so create blank. Canva is now going to open a new document in the editor. 
From here, you can use a template available in the Canva library, like any of these that you see right here under the design tab, or you could create your own design, which we are going to do today. And creating your own design will give you more freedom to customize the 52 Instagram Reels later on if you wish. And later, I'm going to show you why I decided to create my own design versus using one template in the Canva library. I'm going to create an animated Instagram Reel and I'm going to use animated elements so I can later on change the colors of each Instagram Reel if I wanted to with just a couple of clicks. So the first thing it would be to change the color in the background. I'm going to use a purple color and then let's go and find some animated elements that we can change the color to as well. From here we are going to open elements and then go to stickers see all. We're going to try to find an animated element that we can use in the background, but also that we can change the color to. So now that I'm inside stickers, I have filtered the results by animated elements. I'm going to scroll down until I see an animated pattern. For example, this one right here or this one. Before I do anything else, I want to double check if I can change the colors to these animations. So I'm going to click on the element and if you see the color option appearing here, it means that this is a Loti sticker, meaning that I can change the color to the animation. This is the kind of element that we want to use on this design. And there are some other elements that we cannot change the color to. Let me see, for example, this one, we don't have the color option. So for example, this element won't be useful for this particular project. So I'm going to use the pattern that we're seeing here, click on the three dots and then view collection. We're going to click see all. From here, we can see now a collection of animated patterns that we can use on this design. It's kind of difficult to see them because they are black and the search window is a dark gray, but if you are having issues viewing one of these elements, you can click on the element and then preview it on the design. I'm gonna try a couple of them and see which one looks better. I think I'm gonna go for this one and I'm gonna stretch it so I can feel the background of my design and then I'm gonna change the color to white and add some transparency. I want to have an animation in the background to have something that gets people's attention, but also I want it to be subtle. So that's why I'm adding some transparency to this animation. Okay, now that I have this animation right here, and also if you are having issues finding these animations, you can use the code that you see right here. I'm gonna leave it in the description of this video as well, so you can copy and paste. I believe it's better for you to copy and paste because these codes are case sensitive. So if you have one letter that is not the right letter, the code won't work. So better copy paste it. Now I'm gonna clear or delete this search term and I'm gonna type CTA or animated CTA. You will have a bunch of beautiful elements that you can use on your designs and I'm gonna go for this one right here. I can change the colors on this animation and this is actually what we need for this project. I'm gonna change these three colors very quick. And now let's add a couple of text boxes that we're going to use in order to insert our quotes, the hashtags if you want to add the hashtags to the design and also the call to action to make people comment on our reels and increase the engagement. So let me add a text box. I'm going to press the key T and now let's change the font to open sus. This one right here, you can use this one. I'm going to activate the uppercase feature on this text box. So we're going to have the quote in here. I'm going to add one more text box like this one. So duplicate. In this text box, I want to have the call to action. So I'm going to 
deactivate the uppercase and make this text box a little bit smaller. I want the quote to be more important in this particular design. So that's why this text box is bigger. I'm gonna add another text box on top just to indicate people that this is a weekly content and if they want to see more of these quotes they can subscribe to our Instagram profile and see our weekly quotes. Let's make it uppercase and I'm gonna add a shape like this one behind the text box. Gonna change the color and then add a border to this shape. I think we are almost ready. I'm just gonna give you an option in case that you want to have an extra piece of information on your design. I'm gonna have the quote, the call to action, and then I also had an extra column with hashtags that you can use on your caption, but if you want to have the hashtags on your design, on your Instagram reel, you can have an extra text box right here. Maybe have it in italics and smaller weight or to have it as a light font so it doesn't get that much attention. We want the attention to be on the quote. I'm gonna go without the hashtags and use the hashtags only in the caption. This design is ready to bulk create our animated Instagram Reels. So we just need to connect the information that we created with the help of ChatGPT with Canva. Let's go to apps and then from here we are going to search for bulk and select this option that says bulk create. If you remembered, we copied the information from the table that ChatGPT created for us. So I just need to paste it in here. So click on enter data manually and we are going to select the first cell and control V. Then I'm going to the last cell. I'm going back to chat GPT. Remember that the first table we only had 15 quotes. So let's go back to chat GPT and copy the other tables that the chat created for us. So copy, go to Canva, paste it and let's continue pasting all the information until we have the 52 quotes. I do suggest that you double check the information that ChatGPT provided before you create all these Instagram Reels. I know that the information that ChatGPT sometimes is not correct or is not the best, so you can tweak the information or you know, adjust it before you fill this table right here. Once you are ready, we are going to select done. And now we're going to connect the information from each column of the tables to these text boxes. So I'm going to select this first text box and then clicking on the three dots, we are going to select connect data and then quote. This is the text box that is going to hold my quote. Then in this text box, we want to connect the CTA information. And then if you wanted to have your hashtags in the design, you will have another text box and then you will connect the hashtags to that text box. I'm going to use just these two data fields. Before we continue with the next steps, I would like to do an extra step that is going to help my designs look better afterwards. I'm going to take these two text boxes close to each other and then I'm going to select them both and group them. Now I'm going to take the quote text box and make it grow up and down. If I were to make these text box grow down, then my quote will be out of the box. You will see later on. So I'm going to make sure that my quote is growing both ways. I think this is going to look good. And then after this change, remember that these two text boxes are grouped. We are going to hit continue. Now Canva is going to take the data that we entered and it's going to create new pages based on this. This is going to generate 52 pages or 52 Instagram Reels after we click on this button. So click. Now Canva is opening a new Canva doc with our 52 
Instagram Reels. Now we just need to go over each of these pages and adjust the size of the text if necessary. And you can also add an extra step that is going to take you a couple of clicks to add different colors to your Instagram Reels so you can make your profile a little bit more interesting. So let's go to design go to styles. From here you can use the color palettes that you have on your brand kit if you wanted to have your branded colors or you could use the color palettes available in Canva. I'm gonna go for one of these color palettes so let me try this one right here. I'm gonna click one time and if I like this color combination I can go ahead to page number two, adjust the text if necessary and then using the same color palette I'm gonna click once I have the same color combination as the previous design so I'm gonna click one more time on this color palette and now I have a different color combination I'm gonna continue doing the same process for the following pages Also, I wanted to mention that this is why I grouped my two text boxes in the previous step. You can see that the two text boxes are looking good one next to the other. Maybe I just need to change the position. Maybe we just need to adjust the size of the text boxes, but that's about it. If we do not take the extra step to group our text boxes, our design could look like this. So this text box was somewhere here and this one here. So that means that you need to do an extra work on each of these Instagram Reels because you need to move this text box up, you need to change both of these text box, maybe adjust the size of the two text boxes, but because we have them grouped, we can do it faster. Also, something else that I wanted to mention here is that because we used animated elements that we can change the colors to, we can change the aesthetic or the look of each of these Instagram Reels with just a couple of clicks the way I'm showing you right now. Every single element on the design has different colors which is going to make your Instagram profile look more interesting. Now, I want to show you something that I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial in which I said that you could use the templates available in Canva like for example this one or you could create a design by yourself like this one that we have right here because we are using elements that we can change the color to and we can have a different look on each single Instagram reel but if we were to have a template like this one for example in which we have a video in the background we can only change a few little things in the design which is this box and the color of the text boxes and we will always have the same video on all the 52 Instagram reels. That's why I personally decided to go with a custom made design. If you were to post these 52 Instagram reels along the year, which option would you choose? The template one with a video in the background, you don't have to spend time creating the design, but you will have the same video in the background or the custom made design in which you can change the colors of each of the Instagram reels. Let me know in the comments. Once you are ready with your Instagram Reels, it's time to download them. Go to the navigation bar on top and click share. From here, go to download, select MP4 video, and we have to download every single Instagram Reel separately. So we are going to deselect all pages and then select page one, done download. We're going to follow the same steps for every single page. So we're going to deselect all pages, go then to page two and continue the same process until you have downloaded the 52 Instagram Reels. If you liked this tutorial and would like to learn how to create animations in Canva like this one, I'm sure you are going to love Ronnie's tutorial, so I'm gonna leave that one in here. Also, if you have a really hard question that you want us to reply, you can join the membership on our channel because with it you will have access to priority reply to your comments. On top of that, you will have amazing loyalty badges and custom emojis like this. I think this is it for today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!